I said before, it's a really busy period, but with that, it gives a great chance for momentum after back-to-back -back wins and back-to-back -back clean sheets in really good form to go and do that. Yeah, and we want to put a run together. We've shown before Christmas that we're capable of doing that, um, to score seven goals and not concede in the past two is been very pleasing. Um, but we know Ipswich away on Saturday will be a different type of game uh, than what the one we faced on Tuesday. Um, but we want to carry on that confident feeling that we've got within the group. Transfer window is now closed. You know the group that you're going to be working with from now until the end of the season. The last one to come in, Elliot Embleton, first training session today. How much are you looking forward to working with him and seeing him grow and what he can add to the team? Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, that one came about on, on deadline day and um, my previous sort of knowledge of knowing what Elliot's capable of helped in that situation um, because you don't get a lot of time to think of these decisions. But um, Elliot's a player that I've been aware of for a number of years and I believe he's a is an excellent player, can play in a number of positions, um, can bring goals to the team and he's an energetic midfield player who can attack and get forward and um, and it looks like and from everyone you speak to what a really good character he is as well so he'll fit in really well with the dressing room we've got um, he wants to come here and contribute and I'm, I'm delighted that he has decided that he wants to come here and play some games because it would have been easy for him to stay at Sunderland so delighted with that and really looking forward to working with him. In terms of the rest of the dressing room how are we looking with sort of injuries and, and fitness and people being back? Well, we had no um, no serious issues from the game on Tuesday, which is a bonus. Um, some of the players who have been out injured um, will hopefully train today, but then we'll have to assess them because some of them have been out for um, a few weeks. So whether they're fit and ready to come back into the squad on Saturday, the next 48 hours will, will tell us that. But hopefully we'll be in a, a bit of a stronger situation um, come Saturday's game. You mentioned the strength of the opposition this weekend. What sort of game do you expect? A really good footballing game. Um, I think they've got some excellent players. Um, a clear way of playing. Um, you can see they're well coached. Um, they had a really good start to the season. We 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 felt how good uh, they were in that moment when they came to Bloomfield Road. Um, they're not quite in that same moment now, but that's not to say they won't get back there. Um, because there's no doubt in the quality they've got. So away from home, we know what a tough task we've got, um, but we've done well so far in a lot of our away games against good teams this this season. And um, if we can do that, then I say we want to go down, pick up three points and carry on the, the momentum that we've got.